from balling out in lockdown football in 2020. To then getting his own signature football boot at 20 years old. Inspired by the hood where Sancho grew up in Southeast London. And subsequently joining Manchester United, Jane Sancho was on top of the world. I think over the last six months, I think he's gone on to another level. But suddenly, everything came crashing down, and Jane Sancho was labeled as one of the biggest transfer failures. Jaden Sancho, the biggest transfer flop in the last 10 years. No. He will look back on his career and think, what what have I done? After falling out with Ten Hag, it was unlikely we would see him rise back up. But something changed, and Jane Sancho has very clearly bounced back in his football career. But how did he do it? Well, let's go back to his initial rise to glory in the 2019-20 season. At this point in his career, Jane Sancho had already worked his way through the Man City Academy system, and he was on his fourth season of professional football in the Bundesliga. Jane Sancho was going into this season as a consistent starter in the Dortmund first team, but still yet to sprout his wings as a major football talent. As in the prior seasons, he was showing a lot of promise, only just starting to score a little bit of goals just last season. He started off this important season with a few goals in the first couple of games and five assists by match week four. Seriously impressive. But this was just the beginning. His success on the pitch was immediately recognized by all the major bodies in football. And he started popping up as one of the next English wonder kids, and at some points even labeled as the next David Beckham. There was lots and lots of hype behind this 20 year old kid, and with lots of big names endorsing him, he only got even better. By the end of the season, Jane Sancho had scored a total of 20 goals and 20 assists in 44 games, which as a winger are some elite level numbers. He also was the runner up for the Golden Boy Award in 2019 to Jao Felix, and the runner up in the Copa Trophy that year as well. And he won several player of the month awards clearly there was something going on here and jane sancho got even better in the 2020-21 season if you can believe it to start off the year jane sancho partnered up with nike and came out with his signature colorway of the superfly 7. and whether or not you're a fan of his these boots are sick with this sancho became one of the youngest ever athletes to get a signature boot with nike at just 20 years old which made him look like an even better player and this only brought more hype to the young superstar ahead of the 2020-21 season even though he wouldn't score as many goals this year he was still an indispensable player for borussia dortmund his role at the right wing was super important even though it took him four months to score his first goal of the season but once he got the ball moving he had his confidence back and he started to ball out once again scoring and assisting game winners against clubs like RB Leipzig twice, VSP Wolfsburg, and even RB Leipzig again in the DFB Pokal Final, where he would score a brace and assist one, by far his performance of the season. Jane Sancho was emerging as a huge transfer target for some of the biggest clubs in the world. Many huge news publications and other critics began to refer to Jane Sancho as a generational talent, and there was lots of speculation on whether he would be a perfect fit to solve May Knight's winger issue at the time. Being one of the most creative and technically gifted young wingers, coupled with a decent bit of pace on him and his ability to beat any man in a one-on-one -on -one situation, he was creating lots of high XG chances, and he was the perfect fit for what Man United were missing. Sancho's consistent numbers at the end of the season of 16 goals and 20 assists in all competitions caught the eye of Ralph Ragnick. Despite being injured for a handful of games at the end of the campaign, he was still their first choice. And as they say, the rest was history. I just need money. Of Jaden Sancho, 73 million pounds. I gotta stay out the mix. Part of it is just kind of a dream country, so. His debut at Man United would have a lot of mixed feelings. As he came on for the final 10 minutes against Leeds, and even though the Red Devils won 5-1, Jane Sancho was not that exciting to be completely honest. In Jane Sancho's first dozen appearances for Man United, he really only accomplished two things. Absolutely nothing! And other pointy things. He did score his first goal for them in the Champions League against Villarreal, and it was decent. But fast forward to the very end of the season, and Jane Sancho had only scored 5 goals and 3 assists in all competitions. Which was a pretty big letdown when you cost 73 million pounds and one season ago had 40 goal contributions in the Bundesliga. But the fans had not lost hope as often players had a hard time adapting to the Premier League historically, like how Ronaldo only scored four goals in his first Man United season, or Beckham only scoring eight goals in his first season as a starter. Sancho had time to adapt and grow over the off season, but as time went on, things just started to look even worse. But right before I continue, if you've made it this far in the video, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, it would really help me out. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime. Thank you. It's safe to say that Jane Sancho had a bit of a hard time in the 2022-23 season. By this point, he had fully become a starter and a first team player, 
but the increase in playtime had no effect on his performances, as he was equally bad throughout the season, and fans really made it clear to him. Uh, he's been shocking. Uh, he, he's been absolutely mm. shocking. He's... Because someone has to be blamed for this. It's another embarrassment when we should be talking about the state of the club, the result yesterday, and actually we've got an intern... There's not much more to say about this season for him, as it was just brutally poor form. In a total of 41 matches, he managed to score a total of 7 goals and 3 assists, which is by far not worth the 73 million euro price tag. But hopefully, under the new management of Eric Ten Hag, things will get better next year. Only, that wasn't the case. The beginning of the 2023-24 season for Jane Sancho was very tense, as him and Eric Ten Hag did not get along whatsoever. Mainly because Jane Sancho's track record wasn't the best. He was always late to training, he was generally a lazy player, always out partying and drinking, and he just wasn't a coachable player whatsoever. After Jane Sancho made about three substitute appearances in the Premier League, Ten Hag had made his decision. He decided he needed to cut the dead weight and got rid of Sancho, suspending him for the season. And Ten Hag himself describes him as straight up unsuccessful. But after sitting out for four and a half months thinking, his future would start to turn around. And he finally made a move to Borussia Dortmund. Returns to the club where he made his name. Dortmund is home to me. You know, it's always been a dream for me, so. Finally, Jane Sancho was out of hiding and finally made a return to Dortmund. There was lots of hype to see this guy back on the football pitch after months of disappearing. It really felt like a new era for Jane Sancho. Rocking the number 10 shirt, he made his second Dortmund debut against Darmstadt, and this was way better than his May night debut. Coming on as a sub for the remaining half hour, fans were very excited to see this guy play. In the 77th minute, he assisted Marco Royce for his first assist of the 2023-24 season. Incredible. Things continued on a positive note for Sancho this season, as in his next Bundesliga appearance, he would assist another goal against FC Köln. And even though he didn't score any goals, this was one of his best performances I have seen in a while. And for the next few matches, Jane Sancho would start cooking. He was beating everyone one on one again. He was playing some great passes. It was like I was finally watching prime Jane Sancho cook up again. And when Dortmund would play against Werder Bremen, it actually was like that. In the 38th minute, Jane Sancho would receive the ball off Julian Brandt. And he would completely dust the man marking him. He takes it inside and slots it away far post against the Bremen keeper. A revelation for Sancho's career. This goal just shows us that Jane Sancho still has the footballing ability to become one of the better players in the modern football landscape, which is very refreshing because he used to be one of my favorite players in lockdown football. And four days later, it was a Champions League week, and Dorman were up against PSV Eindhoven. And just three minutes into the second leg, Jaden receives the ball from Brent once again, where he makes a great move and another great finish to put Dorman up 1 0 early on. It's absolutely insane to think that Jane Sancho was considering retiring early on, but Dortmund have once again worked their magic that has changed the direction of Sancho's career. He's finally back to his brilliant best, and even though this is just the beginning for Jane Sancho's second Dortmund spell, I really think he will excel once he returns back to Maine United where his load expires, or he will get permanently signed back to Dortmund, I don't know. But that wraps up this video. If you have any video ideas you want to see, leave them down below in the comments, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next week.